everybody. Today I'm going to be vlogging not all day but just a little bit because this morning I am going to New Zealand's first cat cafe. So it's called the Cat Lounge. It's in Auckland where I live obviously. It's in Glenfield which is not too far from where I live. Jonathan doesn't want to come which is fair enough because we have a cat at home and it's like well why pay ten dollars to go and play with someone else's cats when you've got your own that you can play with for free. But I'm obsessed with cats and so is his sister who's going to come with me and her boyfriend who's going to come with us and her friend as well who's also coming with us. So we're going to have a full car. I don't, they'll have to fight for the front seat. So Bye. we're supposed to be leaving in like 10 minutes so I've got to like quickly scoff down my breakfast and see if I can put some makeup on before we go. No, no, will she make it? I'm wearing this um, pink dress. I don't know where it's from. I got it from Trade Me. I think it's like Dollhouse or something. I don't know. It cost me like 10 bucks off Trade Me. Anyway, I will talk to you in a bit, probably when we're at the Cat Cafe. We just got back from the cat lounge so I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about it. So I think it's a really really cool idea. So basically you pay $10 and you get to spend up to an hour with the cats. They've got I think 16 or 17 cats at the moment. Some of them are kittens, some of them are older. A lot of them have come from really bad starts to life like they've been um, strays basically. Uh, one of them's been hit by a car and is missing an eye and a couple of other problems like that. And on the website it says that they've handpicked the most friendly cats, so ones that aren't going to hurt you, ones that are going to want cuddles and want to play and all that sort of stuff. So I think it's a really cool idea because they're rehoming the cats, they're giving them a really really nice place to live. They're not allowed outside but they've got a lot of space, they've got heaps of other cat friends to play with, they've got people every day and then they've also got like the people that work there which are basically like their owners because they're the people that the cats can get attached to that they'll always see every day. So I think it's a really lovely environment for the cats but our experience there was that the cats weren't as friendly as they were made out to seem. So basically like sure they're friendly like they're not going to attack you or hurt you or anything like that but they're not cuddly. And to be honest on the whole they're not that playful either like a couple of the kittens were having a bit of a play but 
Most of them that we were trying to get to play with us were not interested. They didn't want to cuddle us. I got like a five second cuddle with one of the cats and so did Jackie, but out of an hour and 16 cats, that's not that impressive. And they were really, really timid as well. Like most of them, when you went to pat them, they would put their back down, like trying to get away from your hand. So they didn't even want to be patted. Like what's the point in spending $10 to go and cuddle and play with cats that don't even want to be patted? And when I got home, my cat like meowed to me as soon as I got out of the car. She came and gave me a cuddle. She's not even a cuddly cat, but I can pick her up and hold her without her complaining for a little bit. And to be honest, she gave me more of a cuddle in the first five minutes of me getting home than all the 16 cats did put together for an entire hour. So while I do think it's a really cool concept, I think it's a great place for the cats to live. They've got like climbing walls and bridges and they've got everything they could want there. I'm personally not going to be going back because I didn't have the best experience there. Like nothing bad happened, but it just wasn't as good as I thought that it was going to be. So I would say the people that are working there are doing a really great job. The cats are really happy and I'm really happy that it's a thing. And I hope that more cat cafes or cat lounges or whatever they're called will be opened up in New Zealand soon because that's currently the only one that we have. And I'm sure that it's great if you don't have a cat because, you know, you can try and play and cuddle with a bunch of other cats. But I'd say if you do have a cat like me, you're better off just cuddling your own one because you're not going to get that much out of those cats. Then again, that was only my experience. It might have been the time of day because we did go quite early in the day and some of the cats were still asleep. Um, they might have just been having an off day and I don't know, you might just enjoy sitting there and watching cats sleep. If that's your thing, then that's cool. It's totally up to you. I'm absolutely not saying that it was a bad place. I think it's really great. Um, it's just that I personally won't be going again. I think that's about all I've got to say for now, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing a couple of the little clips of cats that I got. Um, they were pretty cute, to be honest. And I will see you sometime in one of my future videos. Bye!